And I'm gonna go over uh, the bit of a, a recap, not recap, but an update on the, the review I did of the Innovate Terra Ultra G270s a few months ago. So at that time, I'd only done about 30 miles in them and I was still testing them out. So now I've done quite a lot more. Can't remember how many miles, but I'll put it on the screen. Thanks for coming along uh, to watch the video. Uh, before we get going, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, leave a like and leave a comment below. Okay, let's get on with the update on the review. So back in July, um, I did a, an initial review of the Innovate Terra Ultra G270s, uh, just when they came out. Now at that point, I'd only ran about 30 miles in them. So I wanted to do an update. So the shoe itself, so this is the shoe I've been using. So I think up until this point in time, I've done 277 miles in them. A uh, bit grubby. But I'll go over how the, how the fit's been and how the wear and tear's been as well. So the shoes themselves, they are a zero drop shoe and they've got a 12 mil stack height along here and they are a wide fit. So on the fit, uh, the fit when I first tried these things on, I, I used them with uh, what you call a super feet insole. That's what I generally use. I'll pop that there. Uh, that's what I generally use with most of my running shoes. I take the insole out and put in a Superfeet insole, which has got a bit of support to it. But I tried that and I wasn't really getting the fit that I was wanting. So I took the Superfeet insoles out. I found that the shoes for my feet, I've got quite a shallow foot and sometimes putting in a different footbed um, just makes it a really good fit for me. But on this occasion with this, this particular shoe, I wasn't getting the fit I was wanting. So I took the footbed out and I wasn't getting on with the zero drop hugely uh, because I don't generally run in a zero drop shoe. So what I did was I did something I've never done before, which was to grab an insole, one dirty insole, so I took the insole out and I cut up an old insole. So just on the back here, I've cut a section of an old insole out, got some super glue and stuck it on the heel. So I did that with both footbeds and that just gave me that little bit of lift. Now doing that, I still had a bit too much volume in the shoe as well. So I used the a second footbed as well, so it seems, seems a bit weird this, but tinkering with the shoe has given me a really good fit now. So I've got a footbed where I have added a heel section to it, and I've used the power power footbed that came with the with the Terra Ultras and popped that on top as well. So by doing that, I've taken up a bit of volume within the shoe given myself some extra cushioning and just raised my heel ever so slightly so it's not quite a zero drop. I've just given myself a bit of lift. And that's worked wonders for me. Never tried this theory before, but anyone out there that finds a shoe that has just a bit too much volume in there and they're struggling to, to get them to fit, give this a go because it, it's worked really well for me. So the power power footbed that comes with the Terra Ultras, they're super spongy. They're definitely a thicker uh, footbed than a standard footbed. And adding that with that has definitely given me more cushioning and more bounce to the shoe. So now that I've added those in there, I've got a shoe that fits my foot really well and I'm really happy with. So how does the upper look after 270 miles? So I just turn that round here. There's no wear and tear at all. They're dirty, 
because I went for a wet run in them yesterday and we were going through rivers. Um, dirty and grubby, but there's nowhere, quite often on a shoe, I find that flex point just here, here and here, it can tear just, just here or here, but nothing. No tears, no wear, no holes or anything. I've ran all over the place in these shoes. I've run loads of places that they're not designed for at all through um, loads of heather, up and down through really boggy, muddy terrain. That's the only time I've felt as if it's been the wrong shoe choice for me is when I've been running through um, thick mud because they're not designed for thick mud. So that's my own fault for wearing the, the wrong shoe in the wrong situation. But wear and tear wise, there's just nothing, nothing on here at all. The laces as well, the laces are like new. So sometimes uh, laces can get frayed with wear, uh, but absolutely fine. Nothing at all. Also, when I, when I first tried these, I was conscious that the tongue was really thin. So it's got super thin tongue, not much cushion into it. Um, but again, uh, I've not noticed it at all. There's been no pressure on the top of my foot. Uh, the fit's just been really nice. Uh, going back to what I said on the original video, which is just up here somewhere, uh, they use what they call the adapter fit. And that just fits and hugs across your forefoot really, really nicely. Uh, so no, no movement of my foot in the shoe and no pressure via the tongue either. So the fit has been really good. The wear and tear, uh, there isn't any apart from the fact they're dirty. Uh, they drain out really well, since though they are still damp. I might as well mention how well they drain. Um, so going through loads of water, uh, yesterday's run was pretty cold. Uh, feet were pretty cold quite quickly going through the water. But just the movement of running um, just pumps the water out and your feet heat up. Um, so, so they breathed, they, they breathed, they, they shed the water really well and my feet did warm up as well. So the, the outsole, how's the outsole fared? So can you see that? So originally they came with little dimples on each of these lugs. So the lugs are a four mil lug and the little dimples were supposed to aid with traction. Now the dimples have worn away uh, after a few hundred miles but they were really small and minimal anyway. I don't think they were gonna to last too long. Uh, the lugs themselves haven't really worn. There's still plenty of depth in those. And there's not really been, quite often I'll wear the outside of the sole, this section here. It's just the way I run. But no, it, it, it's not gone at all. It, it's still got the same depth to it. So the graphene in the, the sole, the outsole, seems to be doing its job. It's supposed to make the, the outsole uh, grippier and more durable, longer lasting. Uh, so 270 odd miles in, uh, the sole's still faring well. Has been really grippy. The, as I say, the only time I've felt unsecure in them has been when I've been running through um, steeper ground with mud where they've slipped, but they're going to because it's not designed for that. So overall, um, I struggled a little bit initially with them, with the foot shape, my, my foot shape inside that shoe, there was just a bit too much room. And so after adapting the, the insole, uh, adding an extra insole and adding that little section on the back just to raise my heel up, um, I've got a really nice fit, fits, fits my feet really well, very comfortable. Uh, it's, it's the shoe I generally grab out my shoe rack uh, when I go for a run now, which I would never really have thought initially with the zero drop, I was struggling a little bit, but I've got past all that. I don't think I'm a natural zero drop shoe runner. I, I don't land on my forefoot all the time. Uh, the longer I go, the tighter I get, um, it, it's less off the toe. So by raising up the, the heel section a little bit certainly helped, helped me anyway. 
and using that power footbed that comes with that particular shoe that if you've got a pair of these take the footbed out and just feel it it's super spongy it's really nice so that does make a difference with the cushioning uh, I've used these shoes as well on quite a few hikes so instead of wearing a big heavy boot I prefer to wear something much much lighter if I can and they've coped really well for longer longer walks so great for running also great as a hiking shoe so as a shoe for just getting out on the trails and going for a walk they've been super comfy so certainly think of them for that and wear and tear wise uh, the outsoles had hardly any wear and the uppers got no tears uh, so yeah thumbs up for that it's been a, a really good nice tough durable shoe so i would imagine i'm going to get easy the same amount of miles out of it again so you're going to be 600 miles plus i would expect uh, fairly easily so yeah really pleased with the shoe more pleased with it now than i was initially really uh, after the first few weeks i was just trying to get it right for me uh, but i've managed to do that so thanks for watching uh, big thumbs up for the shoe I'd definitely get another pair, but it's going to be a while before I need another pair. So don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.